Hello, you awesome video game lovers. My name is Imagineer, and welcome to Not Everything is Flammable. This is a small game that I found, I believe, on Game Jolt. And roll left and right and jump using the. Jeez, okay, that is loud. Uh, I'll probably need to turn that down. And this is basically the game. You need to move around as a. Jumping too quickly will burn you out, so. So jump carefully. And you're uh, determined by how much lighting you have in Oak. Uh, as you can see, not everything is flammable. Ah. Uh, well, time to rekindle. So this is basically a small game where you are able to go around and literally burn everything on fire. It's a pyromaniac's dream. And I got stuck. But yeah, it's basically a pyromaniac's dream where you are able to go around and light almost everything on fire, but then again, as the game shows, not everything is flammable. Wait, can I be the Pokeball? Yes! I'm a- Is that a Pikachu? Ah, uh, Not the Pikachu. But as you get further into the game, there'll be more to do and use to your advantage. Oh god, and I was one of the worst objects I could be. Oh, I'm a lightsaber! Holy crap, this game is awesome. Oh, I'm a guitar. Oh, now I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm now I'm a burning sheep! Oh god. I'm sorry, squirrel! Oh god. Oh man. This game is so much fun for just like something small. Obviously the money doesn't go towards anything, but I think it goes towards how much you damage. Um, but I don't know. This is just one of those small little fun games I've been wanting to record. Because the first recording I did of it didn't go so well, but that was way back then. And I like how the music changes depending on how lit you are. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, I guess... Everyone's lit in this game. Everything is lit, I should say. Um, this is such a crazy little game. Such a crazy concept. That, oh hey! You're just, oh god. And you're just trying to get as much money as possible. But I haven't really made it too far in the game myself. So I need to see how far we can get. Oh god, the rock's on fire? The cactus! Oh god, I'm sorry Mr. Squirrel. The gnome. This game is just so fun. The art style, while... Oh my goodness, come on. Oh. The art style, while it is a little bit 8-bit, it works for it so well. It, wor it would work better with this than a 3D type of game, in my opinion, because I don't think you'd get the same appreciation out of it if it was in uh, 3D. Ah! Oh, go, Squirrel Chew, go! A spittoon and a lamp. Oh, the dragon vice. Want to rule them all more? What the heck? But yeah, this is just a small game to play. I'm gonna see how far I can get now, and then I'll probably end it here to make it just a small video. But this is so cool. Like, you guys may not think of it to be extremely cool, but it's a, it's a small little game where you can literally make things burn, and having everything on fire is quite amazing. Oh god, I'm a sock. Literally, almost everything in here, I don't know how the clock is flammable, it's just me, but, uh, mostly I think we're hitting matches, or sticks, or books. Ah. Try one more time and see how far we can get. So, yes, you burn about ten items this run. Ten times. Not too shabby. Huh. Nice. I like how the game compliments you as well. I don't know what it would be like to get to the end. Can I? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, is that a Mario? <laughs> I'm a Mario coin. That's awesome. Alright. 
I think that's about as much as I'm going to get out of the game. But that is not everything is flammable. It's a fun little game to pass the time. I don't think that it has much, you know, past, you know, getting to the end. At least not that I know of. If you guys want to check it out for yourselves, I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay curious.